The Escalante River watershed is a remote and beautiful place. I would describe it as just a tremendously diverse landscape, sort of a, an oasis in the midst of an arid landscape. It starts at 11,000 feet in elevation and cascades down the mountainside cold streams that form the main part of the river just outside of the town of Escalante. And from there, the landscape changes dramatically into these deeply incised sandstone canyons. The Escalante is just a tributary to the Colorado River Basin, but in and of itself, it's this amazing watershed filled with a variety of natural communities because of that elevational gradient from 11,000 feet to about 3,500 feet at Lake Powell. And in between are all these amazing landscapes. We have aspen forests, ponderosa pine forests, wet meadows, we have springs and seeps, uh, riparian areas, waterfalls. It's just a spectacular place. In the last 20 to 30 years, some changes have been taking place throughout the watershed that have raised concerns of land managers and stakeholders, people who live and play and work in the watershed. The Nature Conservancy, we first came to the Escalante watershed a few years back and got a better understanding of what some of the issues are that are facing people who live here in the watershed. That was when we formed the Escalante River Watershed Partnership. The Watershed Partnership was formed with the overall goal of creating a healthy watershed. And one of our, the major threats that we have in our watershed is invasive species. And one of our biggest um, invasive species is Russian olive. The Russian olive has completely pervaded the side streams and the main stem of the river. We're losing native plant and animal species. The flooding has changed completely. It's just taken over camping areas and access points to get onto the river. In order to remove the Russian olive species, we have partnered with several different conservation corps programs. They go out into the canyons. Most of this project is backcountry. Being out in the field is awesome. It's a treat because we're in a really beautiful place. And however hard the work gets, you kind of stop and look up throughout the day. And middle of this amazing Slick Rock Canyon. We've also had the introduction of non-native fish species, which have caused many of our native fish species to decline. The partnership is kind of a voice for the fish and things that kind of get overlooked. Taking the non-natives out along the river is definitely changing the river, and we're beginning to see, we're already seeing changes that are happening there. We're seeing some of the native fish species moving back up into the uh, upper gorge of the Escalante River. It's just a wonderful thing to be able to tell somebody they can go out and hike and see nothing but native vegetation along the Escalante River. It's one of the last undammed rivers that's a tributary of the Colorado, and to have it so pristine, it's a real treat. It's a wonderful thing. Now we've learned some lessons from those that began before us, but we're now serving as a model for ones that are just starting up. If we are successful, the ecological conditions are in good shape, the plant and animal communities are well represented, things will be in balance, there will be plenty of water resources for both natural resources and also to meet the needs of people.